What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I actually got a couple parts that came in that uh, I've been waiting to show you guys. So before I start this video, I want to give a big shout out to Magic City Garage and my homie Matt uh, up in Portland. And uh, he actually sent me out some parts. So I kind of got uh, excited, so I opened the package without you guys. But um, let's say I'm unboxing it right now. But <clears throat> I actually got a Vertex turn signal extension. If you guys don't know what that is, it is. Yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like first. Vertex. Authentic. Shout out to Magic City Garage and the homie Matt. But um, I actually got this because for my wagon, <clears throat> since my, my shore hub and my quick release pushes out a little bit further than usual and uh, my uh, steering wheel is like a deep dish but uh, <coughs> look check check out the turn signal when I try to do my turn signals it's I kind of have to like stretch my arms out see but with this all you got to do is put it onto here and you can adjust it as much as you want and it comes with stickers and it's vertex so shout out to them. Thank you so much, Matt. Appreciate it. You also got me some stickers. Hell yeah. Thanks, bro. And wrote some little notes. <laughs> but thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. And this is how it looks. But let's I'm going to put this on right now cuz I'm pretty sure it'll be real quick. So I think you guys just need a Phillips for this if you guys ever buy buy one of the turn signal extensions but hit up magic city garage and they'll take care of you um but i'm pretty sure you only need a phillips screwdriver and then you just put it on yeah it's, it's all phillips so this is what it comes with it just comes with some stickers so you can put on it honestly i don't know what the hell this is it's like some cushion and some nuts that were loose out and this is your actual extension. It is actually uh, made for left, left hand drive and right hand drive. You just gotta swip it, swip it, <laughs> flip it out. But I think this is right now is for right hand drive. So I have to flip it. Cause if I were to put it on this side, I would have to do that. So yeah, I'll have to flip it right now. This is my progress so far. I just, so basically there's four. So there's two screws up here and then there's also nuts on the back and then there's two more at the bottom right here so that's so you have to have four on total um yeah it's kind of uh, it's a bit hard when you're buzzed <laughs> i'm kind of buzzed but uh i'll get it down right now guys you need a seven millimeter uh wrench for the other side and you need the <coughs> phillips screwdriver to tighten it because i couldn't tighten it without um the nut not always spinning in the back so so uh, i'm gonna do that right now okay guys so i kind of fucked up so those little squishy pieces um they're actually used so if uh it doesn't if it's too skinny for your actual turn signal you're supposed to put it on like this because i just found out that it has, it's double-sided tape and it will actually stay on because it didn't fit because it was my turn signal was too small so yeah too small so yeah so that's why i did that so we'll see right now so i'll show you guys how you do it so basically you take off the actual dub side tape blah, blah, double side tape and you just put it in like so and you just flex that bitch oh jesus okay so hold on you want to have both cushions i will put it on good because if it's not good it's not good there you go. That's kind of ghetto, but so both sides will be touching and have a cushion, so it won't scratch your turn signal too. So that's good. So there you guys have it. <clears throat> so basically, this this bigger one is where you adjust it to how far you want it out here or closer to the steering wheel. <clears throat> this is just the regular Phillips, and the bottom is at eight millimeters, so you would have to hold it from the bottom and then tighten from the top with the Phillips. This one is the Phillips, same thing, but bottom it will be seven. 
and uh, it's all tightened up. I put one cushion on mine and uh, I didn't need to put it at the other top because if I did it's just the screw won't reach so only one cushion would be good. So yeah and it looks it works perfectly guys. Look at that. Look how close here it is. Other than me holding all the way out like this. Then you can also do the high beams. Push them on. It's honestly so much easier. So yeah. It, it, it's it's really the small things that matter, but it actually helps a lot, especially if you have a short hub that pushes out a little bit more than usual, and then a quick release, and then a um, deep dish wheel. But it's perfect. Now I could just honestly signal easier, other than just reaching all the way over. For the finishing touches, I don't know what color I should use. I think I'm gonna go with the black because the steering wheel is black and the interior is kind of black, blackish tannish. So I'm gonna put the black one on. And there you guys go. The finishing touches. Stickers all on. Hopefully it's straight. But uh, yeah, check this out. Sweet. Here you go. Here's the look, guys. And I want to give a big shout out to Matt for getting me this part. I know it's like something small, but it's like I told you guys all the time. It's the little things that make your car stand out and make it make you want to love your car more, even more than usual. And it actually is so convenient for me because, of course, you're going to have to use your turn signal all the time. And it's just so fucking fun using this little fucking metal piece of metal. <laughs> but uh yeah that's one of the parts i got so shout out to my Ma magic city garage thank you guys for helping me out and on getting this anyways since that part is done i want to show you guys the other piece i got but uh i want to show you guys how it looks right now that is how it looks sweet and yeah it's just the little mods guys telling you but hell yeah it looks sweet and that's done so I want to show you guys another um, part I got from Japan and I want to big give another big shout out to Pro Shop Noble if you guys uh, don't know them give them a follow um, they actually import uh, J uh, Japanese parts car parts and anything you want and they also sell like shift knobs uh, horn buttons helmets Etc. But uh, let me take it out. I got a Hitman dice shift knob. I don't know if you guys know what Hitman is, the brand, but um, Hitman is actually the this. They're known for their steering wheels. Their steering wheels are actually expensive as fuck. They are actually like see-through steering wheels. Kind of look like a low rider steering wheel, but. I honestly will probably never have owned that because that shit is expensive as fuck. Um, I got I got this shift knob for pretty cheap, and um, I've never seen it before, and I've never owned a Hitman brand, but I just bought it because th this shit looks pretty sweet. You guys look around. Dallas also got one too. He got a blue one, and he also got like a cluster button. I would have to show you guys in person, but this is the brand. Hey man, and the back is all Japanese. But this is pretty cool. Pretty cool to have. Um, Hitman uh, stuff are pretty expensive, so I might just keep this in its original package and maybe one day I'll sell it or use it. But anyways guys, those are the parts that I actually got straight from Japan. And um, today, uh, me, Dallas, Travis, and Gus uh, we actually went to JDM West Coast to pick up a motor. Gus got a motor, but I can't show you guys that right now because I'm obviously at home and fucking drunk, kind of. But um, we picked it up today, and I will show you guys in the next vlog. But um, D uh, Travis actually got something new, too, and I will show you guys that in the morning when we all meet up because we're going to install it tomorrow. But for now, I'll see you guys in the morning. So I'm sorry, but... We were supposed to put it in today, like tonight, 
but uh, things came up and we just got a little drunk. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. I just woke up right now and Travis is here to show you what he got. Go straight. Oh, jeez, what's that noise? Oh, it's his fucking lip. So today, uh, Dallas is supposed to help him fix his lip, and we're about to show you what we just, what he just got. But that shit, it's pretty sick. But check out this fucking. <laughs> Try to show him what you got. Tesla digital cluster. Damn, bro! Shout out to uh, JDM uh, West Coast for hooking it up. Yeah. Show him what else you got. Oh yeah, we got this Altesa wheel. Hell yeah. It's the small things, guys. And he got a deal on both of them, so we're gonna install that today, right now. Um, hopefully, the cluster just lines up. We don't have to do any modding, but this is my first time actually swapping an Alteza cluster inside, uh, replacing like a regular cluster. So, this is supposed to be a digital cluster, and they call it the Kuki. Uh, he said it was the ku the Kuki cluster, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a little bit different. You could honestly see the digital from right here already. Like the numbers in person. I don't know if you guys can see on the screen. But I actually want to see this shit. So, and it's in kilometers. And if you guys notice, hold this. Uh, the RPMs are actually on the actual bigger gauge. And the speedometers over here, which is pretty cool yeah, right. how they swapped it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be right here too. So hopefully everything's accurate. So to take the cluster out, you wanna take out this the first two top screws right here. Oh fuck, your car is a mess. I don't know where to fucking put them, bro. And then there's a screw right below the ignition. You guys probably can't see it, but it's like right here. Right there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And it just comes off. And that's it. You just gotta take off the cover and then the plugs on the side for the dimmer. It's on the side right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But the plug right there. Sit. Then there's four screws, no, three screws. There's one at the top, two at the bottom, and after that, you have to unplug all the wires from the back. And that's it. And then there's two two big plugs. It looks exactly the same as this one. So it looks exactly the same as this one. They cut it so you could splice through or whatever. But honestly, you don't need these. Hopefully they fit. Yeah, hopefully they fit straight on, but I gotta take off the wire for the plug. And that's it. So basically it's just two plugs you take out and it'll come right out. If you compare it to this, so this is the manual one, the USDM one. It honestly is the fucking same. Bro, I should have bought that shit to be honest. Fuck you. I wanted to buy it, but this will pay like a good money, a <laughs> good buck for it. <laughs> but, um, so you would honestly, if, so, so this cluster doesn't have all the bulbs. So honestly, you could just swap them all over. So, yeah. And there's only like, what, three bulbs you're missing? Yeah, something like that. Four, four, four five, oh, five, six. <laughs> six. <laughs> but you just want to like, I think you just twist yeah. it. Yeah. You twist it and then you just match it up. Alright, and then just put it in, like so, and it should snap right in. There you go. My hands are too surprisingly big. So everything's swapped over. Except for this one, I don't know what the fuck light this one is, because he doesn't got it on there, so. And then you gotta take out this old ass piece of shit. 
So like two hours later, fucking Travis wiggled this bitch out. Holy shit, it took fucking forever. And then let's see if it's actually plug and play. Um, I hope so, bro. I don't care if anything works awesome. <laughs> no, you wanna care. Oh, you're leaning like a cholo. Jesus. Let's see where I'm plugging shit in. Connected. So before we do, uh, put everything back. I think we should just turn it on and see if it works. Cause I ain't trying to put it all back and then it doesn't work. We got plug in the battery. So you want to do the steering wheel? Yeah, let's right do that first. So he's gonna swap out. Do you want to just swap out the whole steering wheel? Or yeah, the whole steering wheel. The whole steering wheel? Yeah. So I just put uh, uh put uh, Travis's Altezza wheel in. So the thing about if you guys want to learn about the Altezza wheel, if you guys know it's real, like legit, to find out it's legit is that Japanese people don't use cruise control. So there's no cruise control on this side, or the steering wheel. But if you look at this one, the USDM has cruise control and there's like a hole for it. But um, Japanese people don't, they say fuck that shit. And this is a man, This he said this was a manual steering wheel. This is a manual steering wheel and then this is also the USDM manual steering wheel. So yeah, and it's way nicer. So that's why he traded. He he wanted to put it in. So did you plug in the battery? No, bro. You want to do the honors? Look, like the door. Easy. The door light it works. Damn, this shit's gonna be sick, bro. Let me see. Wait, wait. Should we put it? Oh, wait, wait. Let's put this whole, all back together. Wait. All right. Enough. Well, turn off the camera. Let's just see. No, if fuck it. Works. No, go ahead. That shit's tight as fuck! The signals work too! Everything is in. That shit is nuts. Let me see your keys. Everything's in. I'm gonna start it just to see. Is that how much gas you had? Yeah, I was around the same amount. Hope it works. Dude, it, the RPMs work, bro. Oh, shit. No, but that's a higher idle, isn't it? Yeah, that's super high. Yeah, I read that it's for like a four cylinder for the beams. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's gonna be like, let me see. Damn, that's pretty tight, though. And so it's gonna be off, huh? Yeah, and speed. But, dude. This is pretty sick. At night? Wait, why is the outer light maybe just light on? You probably have all, look, you have all these lights on now. <laughs> so we're gonna go on a little test ride with the new cluster. Let's see, let's see. I wonder if the numbers work. Oh, it does. Fuck, that shit's nuts. It's gonna say you're going like 160 when you're on the freeway. Shit's nuts. Yo, this is your 5,000 RPMs. <laughs> that shit's tight, buddy. That was a pretty oh, sick yeah, pickup, bro. bro. Honestly. Honestly, that was a pretty sick pickup. We were just like in the warehouse just looking around and then dude, this thing is actually pretty sick But That shit's tight as fuck So if you guys did want to know the Alteza cluster is plug-and-play to our USDM uh, clusters, so that's pretty cool. It's not as accurate because the cluster is for a beams motor and it reads more higher and then it's in kilometers, but it's actually a really cool fucking cluster though, to be honest. But right now I'm going to Dallas's right now. Um, and then yeah, we're gonna see what we do over there. So I just got to Hoffman's. So what's up to the vlog, Hoffman? 
What's up to the vlog? <laughs> so I brought him over some clamps because he just bought these at JDM West Coast Customs, brother. <laughs> but these are actually OEM, so if you wanted. Yeah, shout out to the boys. At yeah, the boys at JDM West Coast. But uh, yeah, because he, he wants to get rid of those because these look a little bit more aftermarket. But, but the ones he got are fucking like a whale's penis, dude. It's just huge as fuck. Look at this. Fuck. But there's the OEM. None of these worked? Or these just take None. too long? <laughs> and there's the baby. So this is what Hoffman's look like. This is like a blue see-through also brother. I got like clips at the bottom, I don't have that. Oh shit, I almost dropped it. He also got this hitman shit I was telling you guys. It's for like the the trip button. It's like a skull. Here I put it in though. But yeah, dude. Overnight from overnight parts from Japan, dude. <laughs> Anyways guys, that'll be the end of the video. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back with another video. And um, we'll show you what Gus got. The motor he got actually. But if you guys follow us on Instagram, you guys probably know. But anyways, deuces.